Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to go over how you can get the very best out of the Razer Kio. So uh, keep watching and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to need to do is to hop over to Razer's website, go to their downloads tab, and I can pop in the description where you need to go. Uh, so it's easier for you to find. All you need to do, once you're in the downloads, click on download here, once you've got it downloaded. Open the updater. And then just literally follow the steps, but as you can see, I've already updated. But that's the first thing you need to do. Once you've done that, and updated everything completely, um, all you need to do then to get the very best out of the camera, uh, especially if you're using it to record yourself as I am here, or if you're using it for streaming, all you need to do, for instance, I'm using OBS Studio, but you can do the exact same thing in Streamlabs OBS. So on your camera settings, so you're gonna see lots and lots and lots of me, but all you need to do is go down to your camera, right click, properties, and then you're left with this tab. Now I'm gonna move the OBS screen out of the way. You're not seeing loads and loads of pictures of me, so you're just left with this. Um, all you need to do are, once you've got this screen is configure video, and then you are left with another tab. And you've got two controls. Now first thing to get the best out of this camera the autofocus is okay at the best of times when you've got good light in the room it's okay uh, as soon as the um, sun goes down especially if you're streaming at night the autofocus isn't that great and it does tend to hunt you get that hunting motion so the first thing I do is uncheck autofocus so this is the autofocus and you can see the hunting so I normally uncheck that now the best thing to do to actually get good focus I find is to move the tab all the way to the far right and then slowly slowly bring it back until you notice everything's really really sharp. Now mine is around about 177. That's I'm literally arm length from the actual camera. So that's the best for me. Now I do have the camera punched in a little bit, but not too much, only a small amount. But I just feel, for me, that looks better. So I normally apply them settings. Then I come over to the video tab, click on that. Now at default, if I show you the default settings, it's quite a bit lighter now. I normally bring down the brightness to about um, 111 and I do the same for the contrast and that's the only tweaks I really do with this software and once you're happy with that click OK and then the end result is basically what you're seeing now. But to be honest with you, you can get away with just doing the firmware update and then turning the auto uh, focused off. And that, that even on its own gives a better result. But the final sort of icing on the cake is really just to tweak the brightness and contrast. The only other thing I want to talk about is on the actual camera itself, there is a light. Now, basically, I've found this sweet setting with that light. If you turn it all the way off, so that's with the light all the way off. I normally only knock it up, so that's one setting, two setting, three setting, four settings, and leave it at that. Now, I find if you go brighter than that, you start to wash your face out. You kind of look a bit more ghosty. And also, if you crank it all the way up, the light intrudes actually on the camera lens, I found, just around, just around the edges. 
uh, but I found for the best overall image and sharpness and all the rest, just use the settings I've used. With them settings and the firmware update, like I say, you end up with this result. And for a webcam, I'm more than happy to not only stream with this, I mean, you can make YouTube content with this. I mean, generally, when I brought this camera uh, and plugged it in for the first time, I was like, man, I'll be honest with you, I was disappointed. I had really high hopes, but Razer come through with a firmware update and like I say, few tweaks and this is literally the perfect webcam for the price. And it's like everything you need in one box. You've got the ring light on it. it, it it's literally everything. And the, the built-in microphone isn't too bad, but I would always stress, get yourself a dedicated microphone. And you don't have to buy an expensive one. There's mics on Amazon for like $30. And with a few software plugins for uh, Windows, uh, voice meter is a good one for example you can make a cheap mic sound absolutely amazing anyway guys I'm gonna wrap this video up I hope you enjoyed the actual video and I hope um, the tips and everything I've given you um, have helped you if you guys are interested in watching my streams I do uh, stream over on twitch and that's uh, I'm most days actually to be honest with you so it's uh, at the moment it's Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and my Twitch address is in the description below. So yeah, join me over there. You're welcome to ask me questions on anything to do with streaming, cameras or PC related stuff. I mean, that's what I'm into. I'm into PC hardware, cameras, anything to do with content creation. So welcome to come over to the Twitch channel, follow me there and we can have a blast in chat. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Give us a subscribe. Until next time, take care.